So what I've got now for you is I've got methanol and ethanol's infrared spectra one on top of the other. And here are the models. Now you can see from the models there are, there's a lot of similarity in these molecules. They have CH bonds, obviously. They have the C single bond O. And they also have the functional group that makes them alcohols, the OH bond. Now if you have a look at the spectra, you can see a lot of similarities. So we've got the classic OH absorption. One thing I didn't mention before is this is typically a broad absorption. So it's quite wide. So you can see straight away from looking at that, yep, there's an OH bond in this, in this molecule. There's your CH absorptions. And again, the other absorption that I focused on with methanol was this one here. And that's in roughly the same region, about 1050 to 1100. Now you can see there's more going on in the in the ethanol molecule and that's obviously because there's more to the ethanol molecule we've got this C single bond C here which we haven't got in methanol so that's obviously going to absorb a different amount of infrared and you can see that it doesn't appear on the data sheet so we won't look at that another thing to note is what we call the fingerprint region and that's typically anything below 1,500. Now, for the exam, we don't need to mention the fingerprint region, but I'm going to mention it because the fingerprint region of an infrared spectrum is unique to that molecule. So ethanol is the only molecule that would have a fingerprint region that looks like that. Methanol is the only organic molecule that has a fingerprint region looks that looks like that. And so because these are all linked up to computer databases, the database basically just would scan or measure the uh, infrared spectrum of the molecule and the analytical chemist would, well in the olden days, would have identified peaks. The computer does it all for them now. And it would also find a match in its database based on the fingerprint region. So it would find that unique fingerprint that's identical to the spectrum that it's just measured. I've kept methanol on the whiteboard, but I've added methanoic acid instead of ethanol. And we'll, we'll have a look at the spectrum for methanoic acid and we'll compare it to that of methanol. So you can see both of the molecules have an OH bond. So we've got an OH bond belonging to a carboxylic acid and an OH bond belonging to an alcohol. And you can see from the table that they absorb slightly different amounts of infrared radiation. So the, we've already come across the OH alcohols which is in this region here and that's a broad absorption. If you have a look at the OH of a carboxylic acid, which is what we've got here, we see a very broad absorption, so very, very broad, and it's between 3.3 three and 2.5, two and so you can see, yep, this is starting, there's 3.3, three, three, about there, and 2.5 and is obviously to there, so yes, that, this fits in with that, that region. Where are the CHs? Well, they'll be lost within this absorption here. So they are there, but they've just become part of this very broad absorption. It's probably those little extra little spikes there. The other thing to note is in a carboxylic acid, we also have this C double bond O, and you can see from the table carboxylic acid contain this bond and that absorbs in the 1640 to 1750 region well there's 1500 there's 2000 so it's obviously this absorption here is due to the C double bond O so 
on an organic spectrum, when you see this strong absorption here and this broad absorption here, that's evidence that we've got a carboxylic acid as our molecule. I'm not going to talk about these peaks here because that's in the fingerprint region and they would be unique to this molecule anyway. So the main part of this molecule would be the OH and the C double bond O. The final pair of molecules I'd like to look at are methanol and methanoic acid. We've just talked through methanoic acid spectrum, so I'm going to focus on methanol now. So we have CH bonds, remember they absorb in this 2850 to 3100 region, so that's definitely those there. And the only other bond really to worry about is this C double bond O. We've just come across that it with methanoic acid and that would be that peak there, that absorption there. Now you can see in the methanol spectrum we've lost this broad absorption here. We've just got this, these are CHs. The more you see of these you'll recognise that that's, that that's not an OH. OHs have this sweeping uh, line to them, like this has got, whereas these are C CHs because they're more sort of spiked. So from simply looking at the infrared spectrum, we can see that this is this can't be a carboxylic acid because although we've got the C double bond O, we don't have the OH. So this is evidence here that this is the aldehyde and in this one here we have the OH and the C double bond O and they are the key features to the functional group of carboxylic acids, the OH and the C double bond O. So typically at, at AS level the questions would give you a list of molecules that the spectra could be belong to. Now you can see on the spectra the, the names of the molecules are actually shown. So imagine they weren't there. So you had three spectra of these three mystery molecules. Now obviously you would have your data sheet with you, the yellow data sheet. And basically all you have to do is justify which molecule belongs to which spectrum. So you, you give the examiner your evidence. So you would say that this must be an alcohol because of the OH. And you would quote the region from the data sheet. You might want to pick up on the C single bond O absorption. Like I've already said, I wouldn't bother talking about the CHs because all of these molecules have CHs. This would obviously be the carboxylic acid of your list of possibles. And again, quoting the evidence, we've got the broad, very broad OH absorption and give the range. And we have the C double bond O, which are the key parts to the carboxylic acid functional group. And you couldn't say, so therefore, by process of elimination, this is the aldehyde, this is methanol you would still have to tell the examiner that this must be the aldehyde because it's got a C double bond O. But I would also say what it hasn't got, it hasn't got an OH. And you can see that because of this absorption. It's not a broad sweeping absorption. And so this must be the aldehyde. So that would be a typical sort of question at AS level.